Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we'll be working on Chevy Cruze, Chevy Sony guys. But what we'll be doing actually, we'll work on Oppo guys. If you have Oppo, like Astra, Insigne guys, Mocha and more. And also Alfa Romeo 159 and Fiat Chroma guys. If you have that 1.8 engine guys and you're trying to find the torque specs for the camshaft caps guys, stay with us and that's what we'll be doing. In the meantime, we have more than 200 videos on this car. Every car we get at the shop, we'll be taking their engines completely apart, guys, so we can, guys, save you as much money as we can. All you guys need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and drop a comment below with your recommendations. So, let me show you guys what we're doing here now. We took the whole engine apart. We have the video for uh, head gasket even replacement. Camshafts are out. That's what the cylinder head looks like and as I said this same engine is used in Oppo, Chevy, Alfa Romeo and Fiat vehicles guys. It's developed by Oppo and uh, Chevy together but it's been used in other vehicles. It's a 1.8 uh, Ecotec engine. So we're going to go ahead guys install the camshafts now. We need to get some clean engine oil okay and we're going to install the intake on the back side first. We're going to get some oil guys we have in a bottle here. And we're going to apply a little bit of oil to every, okay, uh, to every bearing, okay, everywhere where the camshaft contacts with the cylinder head. Alright okay, guys, and we're going to go ahead and install it now, okay. We're just going to go ahead, place it here, it needs to come a little bit this way, perfect, like that. Now, we're going to do the same thing to the front of the engine in a little bit, to the second one, but now we're going to apply oil on each bearing one more time. Perfect. Now let's do the same thing. Okay, we're going to do absolutely the same thing to this one here now. What we'll try to do, uh, we'll guys try to show you step by step, also we'll have a video on the channel that explains everything guys, uh, videos for torque specs on the whole engine, Th that way, okay, you know what we're talking about, now let me place this one, okay. Probably the easiest uh, you'll go to. Okay, let me check it. It will be this way. Perfect. Now we're going to apply oil there as well. And then we'll be ready to get the camshaft caps. Okay, and how we install them, guys, you remove them in a certain way. Okay. And we're going to install them in a certain way as well. They're numbered. This is for the intake, for the back side of the engine. So let me wipe all of them and we'll continue. Now, on the bottom, need to make sure there is no dust or anything like that. Okay, this is number two. This one here is number three. Then we have number four. And lastly, we will have number five, guys. Okay, the first one, I believe you installed it last. We'll show you why in just a second. Now, how we guys uh, get those tight? Okay, let me let me show you now what we need to do. Uh, <coughs> let me just get one, one extension, maybe, quick, because it will be a little bit more convenient for me to use. Okay, so, right here now. All right, guys, we start usually from the middle. Okay, I get them tight by hand. Okay, let's pull out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Okay, like that. The whole engine and the whole detail. So we get uh, the middle ones first, tight by hand. Okay, like that. And then we're going to get the outside ones. What I usually do, okay, I just get them to the point, okay, that they stop spinning with that thing so I don't have to turn by hand. Do not apply any force guys, just when the stop, the bolt cannot go by hand anymore, that's it. 
Now, what I'll be doing guys, now we need to get a torque wrench. Okay, and the socket that we're using is reverse Torx 10. Okay, this is the socket right there. And we're going to start guys, okay, on the very top. We'll start with the middle one. Now we have to have the wrench set guys at 8 Newton meters, okay. 8 Newton meters, so let me go ahead and... Okay, 7.4... 8, 8 Newton meters. <coughs> this is a click type wrench guys, so what will happen? Okay, when we reach that torque, the wrench will... You will hear an audible click from the wrench and as a result guys, okay, as a result... Uh, you need to stop immediately once you hear once you hear that click, otherwise you will put too much torque. Okay, I'm going to do the back one a little bit before we get to the front one. All the way, because you need to compress a few pistons here, now you can see. Okay, now listen what I'm talking about. Okay, now the torque wrench is about to click. You don't need to go more, that's it guys. Now I'm going to do the other bolt. Now, this one here. Okay, listen now. Now I come back to this side guys, to, to the second one. And lastly we go to the last one here. And once you're done, you want to recheck all of them one more time. Okay, so we're done with that now guys. The other one, okay, we'll install it exactly the same way that we removed that one guys. Okay, so, I mean, we'll install it the same way we did this one, excuse me. So, this is it, we wiped them, we already lubricated them. So, we'll, we'll apply the same procedure, we'll get the middle ones tight first, then we'll do the outsides. That way you can evenly distribute the amount of force on the camshaft. Okay, perfect. So, now I'll do the same thing I did earlier guys, and I'm going to go ahead and just cheat a little bit with the impact here. But I just get them tight to the point that they don't go by hand. Okay, too much. Perfect, now guys. The same thing, okay, applies now. We'll be using the same socket, the same range set at, remember, eight Newton meters. So we start with this side now.
so we need to do the same thing on this side and you can see once you get them tied a little bit the middle ones, the outsides get loose, that's normal because we can press the, the valves that had some tension. Okay, so you can go to the outside now. And one more time to recheck everything. Okay, perfect. We're done with this step now. So, now it's very important how we install the front one. This is the one that uh, needs to be sealed with silicone. That way, guys, okay, we shouldn't lose any oil pressure and the variable timing will work as well. Okay, this is uh, the number one, okay, number one cap. And you can see all that was silicone, guys, so we need to, cl uh, we need to clean that. I already did the canal here. and. We're going to apply, we use the Ultra Grey Silicone, you can find all that in the description of the video guys, it's a special engine sealant, check it out. Uh, and uh, we're just going to apply a very thin amount there now. So we get the all holding seals here guys, I mean camshaft seals, excuse me, not paying attention today. Camshaft seals, we need to place them on, okay, need to go in the canal, perfect, just like that. Now we're going to apply a thin amount okay, of that sealant on the cap right here and uh, you need to be careful not to go in the bearing. Okay. So that's what it looks like, we're done with that, we're about to start, now we're going to apply a little bit of oil on the bearings right here okay perfect now I'm going to get that thing and we're going to go ahead and place it on top now okay there is two guides that you cannot confuse we'll press it in and now we have four bolts, okay, they're up here, two shiny ones, two oily ones that we need to install, guys. And those go right here, yep. So we're going to get those tight now. Okay, without any force on the impact, because we need to tor torque them down. Perfect. Now, we need to guys torque them to, again, 8 Newton meters. And we usually start, okay, what do we do usually? Okay, we go uh, one here, one there, kind of like a cross pattern on those. Okay, and we recheck all of them. And 
And pretty much this is it guys, this is the torque specs for the camshaft caps and putting the head together here. So uh, hopefully guys the video will be helpful to some of you doing that job. Please guys subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.